In general, I'm interested in how humans impact coastal marine ecosystems. What we learn from human impacts can be used for conservation and restoration. So Olympia oysters used to be more abundant on the west coast. Their populations declined due to overharvesting and pollution and some other stresses. And so there is a lot of interest in restoring populations of these oysters. They are ecologically important. They filter water, they provide habitat for a lot of other organisms at the base of the food chain. But we're not sure how to restore them so that they can be successful now and into the future. Right now I am growing oysters from six different populations from three estuaries along the California coast. And the next step is to test those six different populations, how they respond to increased temperatures, low salinity, and ocean acidification. What we do is we bring oysters from the field, from estuaries like San Francisco Bay, and we feed them and we keep them warm and we hope that they will reproduce. So studying oysters means feeding oysters, and oysters can eat a lot. They're filter feeders, they filter algae out of the water. So in order to feed these insatiable animals, I grow massive amounts of algae. Currently, the oysters that I'm growing can go through an entire tank every day. So these are the children of oysters that were originally in, from all these estuaries. These are all actually about a year old. They were born in this lab last October and I've been growing them since then. So my hope is that my research, which will help determine whether some populations of oysters are particularly vulnerable to future changes or particularly robust against future changes, will help us determine how to best restore the population and can contribute to restoration that will be successful given some of the changes we know that are coming down the pipe for oceans.